the game Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes on PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One, was sabotaged by the CEOs of Konami. Once the game was released, it was clear most of the game's content was gone. It is your mission to infiltrate Konami's headquarters in Minato, Tokyo, and find that missing content. There are six members of Kojima Productions involved with this sabotage. In charge of them, Kojima Productions leader, Hideo Kojima. Ah! Yes. Oh, sir! Cancel the mission! We've got an official word from Konami! That's it! What do you mean, that's it? There, there's nothing missing! That's the game! Hey guys, Anthony here, and welcome to Quick Shock. Today we're going to talk a little bit about... Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Before we start, let me just tell you, I'm a huge Metal Gear fanboy, and so I'm looking at it from that perspective. But let me get this first point out of the way. Yes, this game is a poor value. There's barely any content for the $30 asking price. It's not worth the money unless you're a hardcore Metal Gear Solid fan. For anyone else who's not a Metal Gear fan, this game is not for you. This game has so many like callbacks to the past games, and it's just like a big fanfare, like, oh, look, Metal Gear games, and it's just a nice little taste of Metal Gear Solid 5. You're gonna feel ripped off if you're not a hardcore Metal Gear fan. Anyways, that aside, how is the game? Yes, it's short, but gameplay-wise, it is superb. It is good. It is really good. Now, there's been a lot of people complaining that it, it controls a little different than uh, previous Metal Gear games. Yes, but I think all the changes are for the better. Uh, if not for the better, just they feel good in their own context and the way the game is designed. You know, I think there's three different generations of these Metal Gear games now. There's Metal Gear Solid 1 and Metal Gear Solid 2. That was their, you know, their generation. Then Metal Gear Solid 3, 4, and Peace Walker. That was that kind of generation. You know, there's very different styles of gameplay between the two. And then you have Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain that's coming out later that I think this is the next evolution of the Metal Gear series. Things people have been complaining about. Regenerating health. No rations in this game. I don't mind that. Didn't bother me at all. I just had to focus on sneaking around. Sneaking around feels good. You have this like diving ability. If anyone sees you, you can dive around a corner really quick and hide and it feels good. Uh, some people have complained about the reflex system where if you get spotted, you it slows down into slow motion. You have a chance to like turn around and stop the person from spotting you or, or calling out on the radio like there he is I can see how that makes the game easier and I actually haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna turn it off for the phantom pain I might just to keep it more pure because it can make the game a bit easy but only in the encounters of one person if there's more than one person that you encounter at a time you're gonna get you're gonna get noticed the game looks great it's running on the brand new Fox engine uh, it's a gorgeous game to look at I played it on the ps4 ran perfectly for me looked perfect lighting's great yeah it was good I, I have no complaints about the game as far as design and as far as graphics go, the only thing I have a complaint about is this package. You know, the price of $30 for this package of content, which, which let me explain. You get one main story mission, which I was shocked by. I was expecting at least like four or five little mini miniature missions, you know, to tell a bit of a story. You get one mission, then a cutscene, and then the demo for the, or the trailer for the Phantom Pain plays. And that makes this feel like a demo so much because you know a demo, you play a demo and then the, the trailer plays afterward. You're like, buy the game. I was really just like, really, that was it? That was it? Oh my god! But then I played the side missions and the unlockable mission and I went back to the Ground Zeroes mission and kind of found some stuff and unlocked some things. And you know, I had a good like four or five hour experience with this game. It was fun to get my hands on the game for its gameplay and its graphics just to experience what Metal Gear Solid 5 will be. The Phantom Pain will be an amazing game, I have no doubt, I have zero doubt. The way this game felt is great and they said that uh, the Phantom Pain is going to be 200 times the size of Ground Zeroes, which is good because Ground Zeroes is tiny. Now, another thing I wanted to do really quick is do a video response to Angry Joe's review of this game, and he brought up a few points that I, I, I kind of disagreed with. So first off, he said that this sets a precedent for future games to, you know, release their demo for 30 bucks. Like, hey, yeah, check out the new Call of Duty for $30, or check this out, check out Battlefield 5 for, Call, uh, for 30 bucks. I don't think it does. This is another thing in the long line of Metal Gear things that only Metal Gear can get away with. You know, Metal Gear Solid 2, they switched from Snake to Raiden and everyone hated it, but they still regard that game as great and they still came back for the third game. All right, Metal Gear Solid 4, the ratio from cutscene to gameplay is ridiculous to the point where it's broken almost. I call it a masterpiece, tons of people still call it a masterpiece. Metal Gear Solid can get away with a lot of shit. I think only Metal Gear and uh, Rockstar could really get away with this kind of stuff. If Rockstar released like a Grand Theft Auto 6 demo tomorrow, everyone would go, oh my god, I gotta pay 30 bucks for that. Oh god. So I don't think it sets a precedent because no other franchise is gonna get away with this. I, I really don't think so. Another thing he said is that this was an open world game. Ground Zeroes is not an an open world game. You get one big map. I mean, it's big, but it's a big map you get to run around on. This game is not billed as an open world game. That's 
the Phantom Pain. So we got that a little confused. And I didn't want people to be confused by that. Ground Zeroes is just one map. It's a big map. You get to explore it. There's vehicles around that you can experiment with and play with. That's fun, but it's not an open world game. And the last thing he said was that the game doesn't introduce the characters. The main mission, you have to save two characters from previous games. Now this comes back to the point that this game is only for the hardcore Metal Gear fan. If you've played Peace Walker and the series before this, you know who these characters are that you're trying to save. And I do have an emotional attachment to them. You know, I like seeing them in 3D. If the Peace Walker characters uh, in this one, you see them in 3D. It's like, oh, there they are. I knew who they were being a Metal Gear fan, and the story told me enough in the little mission I had that I enjoyed it. Also, one thing I forgot to say when I was recording is that there is tons of audio logs, cassette tapes to find, tons of backstory stuff in this game, that that content right there will easily take you another hour or two to listen to, and it gives you a really in-depth look at the backstory and at these characters. If you take the time to just listen to those, there is a ton of content there as well. Now, a newcomer will not know what's going on. This is not the game for you. If you're a hardcore Metal Gear fan, check it out. If you're not a hardcore Metal Gear fan, wait for the Phantom Pain or borrow it and just dick around with the gameplay for a little bit because it's not worth your money. Not at all. Unless you're a Metal Gear fanboy, which I am. Anyways, that's just what I think. What do you guys think about Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes? If you've played it, please leave a comment below. If you haven't played it, leave a comment below. Just say hi. I don't care. And like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh my god, Metal Gear.